Hello everyone, Kizzy here, and today I am getting to use a uh, a fun build that has always been one of my favorite, but I rarely get a chance to use it. Um, it is the Scorpion Archer, and I'm going to be going around hunting the Leprechauns with it today. Not using it on the Easter Bunny. <laughs> uh, these Scorpions would have no chance against Fluffy, but they can... Uh, they can do the leprechauns just fine. In fact, wow, they can maybe do the leprechauns even faster than my, uh, my drakes. Ooh. Well, it's going to be a really fun uh, maneuvering around with all these. So I'm going to have to uh, lead with my character here that doesn't have tracking. And then just switch over to see where the heck these things are. Because there's no way um, I can do an auto-follow with the uh, character that has scorpions. Seventy-seven. So I'm using a very nice Fae Slayer crossbow, hitting for in the 70s so far. And yeah, so far so good. Um, I've used these scorpions for a lot of different random things. And because someone always asks, um, <laughs> I got these scorpions inside of the um, level 7 treasure map. It, or, uh, which one is it? The, uh, the cave spilled, filled with spiders. It's the spider map, basically. Um, it has a bunch of, you know, arachnid-type monsters in it, and the scorpions that spawn in there are this um, kind of a green-blue color. Some of them are a little brownish like this. But, uh, yeah, you can tame them, and they retain their hue outside of the zone. But otherwise, they're just regular scorpions. They all have around 100 hit points. Um, just pretty normal. Uh, tracking. But scorpions, as always, are the best um, tame that has poisoning. And they have a 20% chance to land deadly poison, which can make them very useful for um, going after elves. And of course, leprechauns are very vulnerable to poison as well. And the fact that they have 28 armor um, makes them decent tanks. Even better against uh, casters, of course, because they will force any caster to continually cure themselves, and they cannot be poisoned by any type of spell poison. Uh, they're immune to... Um, basically the three lower poisons, which is always very helpful. Not having to lose your heals to a, um, or your vet heals to curing poisons makes them uh, much more effective. Down here, huh, no more human NPCs at the moment. I'm not even going to try tracking for uh, Easter bunnies right now. There's just, there's no point. I'm not going to be doing any uh, character swapping to <laughs> get on someone else so I can take out Fluffy. Hmm. I see so many houses swapping around here all the time. Two leprechauns. I 
be right here. I just want to kill enough of these leprechauns out here so that I can get into an instance, of course. Get one of these red gates. And then I'll have my uh, tracker here to tame anything that happens to be inside the instance. Anything being uh, pretty much only lucky charms at the moment. Speaking of those gates, there's one now. Oh, weapons. You always delay me. Everyone made it inside. And I do have uh, 10 refresh pots. Hmm. These scorpions aren't going to be able to tank a large number of things, so I'm gonna go ahead with this character and try to draw everything out. See if I can just get a few of them around the corner. Come on. Yeah. I get more than one at a time. Ooh. Teleport. players here. They're probably not going to like my scorpions at all. <laughs> Just ignore them completely. things do wreck the leprechauns surprisingly fast. Having a vanquishing slayer also doesn't hurt. Alright, so he's already got an EV going on that thing. Teleport is nice. Gets him right where I need him. <laughs> so, not really a chance at Lucky Charms this time. The other guy kind of rushed to it. Let's see if I can't figure out what's going on over here. Daggers and magic, magic items. Slowly fades. 
And there is uh, no lucky charms there. I'll let him do the chest if he wants. I found that there's not really that much of value inside those chests. Alright. Right back at it. Um, I want to see how these uh, scorpions do against the boss inside those zones. Didn't get a chance on the first cave. We'll see if I can get the uh, second cave all to myself. Can't really tell. I don't think oh, there's no portal from that. So we gotta go. definitely notice that other players um, do tend to skip most of the leprechauns within the zones and just go straight for the, uh, the boss. this character. Gotta make sure uh, none of these scorpions get left behind. Come on. Mm, this thing should be right over here. coin and a hat? Hmm. That's funny. These uh, leprechaun clothes have been uh, become so common that I've seen many of them dropped in the uh, event lobby. There's no more leprechauns even to be tracked. I'm gonna have to run quite a ways to find more. Should be right here. Man, this would be so difficult to do if tracking did not um, see them while they were hidden. Like, I don't even know how you'd hunt them. Just run around randomly hoping you don't miss them or go to each area very slowly. <laughs> this crossbow so far. <laughs> hmm. 
It will also be a useful tool if I decide to do an Oaks Champ and use that Scorpion character. So I wonder if, um, no, I don't think that's the case. I was going to say, t if when they die, stuff is either on top of them or right next to them and then goes on top of them, if that would prevent the creation of a red gate, but I don't think that would be the case. Actually, be out of my reach. Odd that I haven't seen any Easter bunnies yet. I've actually been noticing less and less of them. Almost like someone else is going around killing them, or um, or like their spawn's just been turned off entirely. in my way. I actually used these scorpions a lot um, when I was a newer player to uh, farm the harpies and stuff for their feathers because I was making my own bow or uh, bolts and arrows for a while. save times have also been getting a little longer. The other day I saw a world save of almost 13 seconds. But apparently there's been a um, some kind of a lag issue with the uh, region that the server is in. See all these small, like, oh, one hit for 18 and 15. 
for the most part, it's a bunch of single digit numbers, and then I shoot it for 63 to 70. It's just so funny. Scavenger not on? I'm going to go see something. Scavenger disabled. Huh. Enabled. The scavenger's enabled, but it's not. Whatever. Sometimes it just doesn't pick up the, uh, the bolts that are left over. who you're attacking. Ooh, an 80. I think that's the highest hit I've seen yet. Huh. Someone's been farming leprechauns there. Ooh, I may have gone around the wrong side. Let's just get this guy out of the way. Gargoyle, too. Wow, a flame strike. What is this, Mob Central down here? I have to kill all this stuff. Make sure it doesn't interfere with my scorpions getting into a possible red gate. <laughs> Alright. You know what? All of you come over here. Great. Now we had time to reveal. Or, uh, hide. Clock here, dude. There we go. With an 82. It's like a headshot. Well, I just found something very unusual. Uh, two fluffies and Easter bunny pairs. Let's go see if they've all been fed. Most likely, but I can always try. Try and hopefully not get killed in the process. So that one hadn't been fed. get this character a few more steps away here. <laughs> Alright, so there's the leprechaun I'm looking for. Oh. Wow. Both of them were unfed. They're like literally right next to each other. Hmm. Scorpions way around to the side to get to this guy. But, uh, 
Any one of those fluffies will just toast these scorpions so fast. Oh, I love this house. Yep. Man, let's hit the best deco. For anyone who didn't know, um, archery actually has the best chance to hit um, any given monster. Or target, really. Because when you have something that adds archery, the archery skill is actually what's adding to your chance to hit. Um, whereas tactics adds damage. So things that add more tactics are helping your actual damage points. Um, archery, we'll take this off. When it adds the uh, 20 archer, it's adding to my percentage chance to hit them, as well as a little bit of damage bonus. I don't remember the exact number on that. There is more in this area. And thankfully, it's away from those bunnies. Just this one. I think I'll change locations if this one doesn't get me a gate. I'll also need to uh, bank, of course. Oh, I don't see any red sparkles. in there. Okay. Yeah, I might only have time for two caves. It took me a little while to get to this one. But hopefully I can get this one um, solo enough that I can test these scorpions against the boss. And with any luck, you know, get a lucky charms horse. Always gotta cross your fingers, right? Overweight already. It's just 
too many weapons then. I am definitely liking the holiday coins though. method. That's the closest leprechaun. attacking him yet. There's at least one. I really can't be doing the bigger groups of three. It's just very difficult for my uh, my character to tank. rid of these last couple leprechauns and then I can go after the boss. There might be two more down by the boss as well. Overweight again? Hmm. It'd be hard getting the uh, 4K from the chest out of this place. I'm fairly certain that's all of the leprechauns in this front area. I was wrong.
and I don't have an ID wand on this character. Let's see, I could ID some weapons and dump them. It's really what's causing all my weight issues is the mass number of weapons. Try and get a vortex going on this boss for now. almost at maximum weight. I need to be uh, careful not to make him teleport onto me. See a leprechaun to tank this thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and dispel that EV. Wow. Well, eh, not be able to tank him. It just hits really hard. I do not see a lucky charms there. back with a, uh, a little switch up. So because I have the locations of so many Easter bunnies, and I found this random fluffy just roaming around out here, I wanted to show you guys um, my, my most recent method to killing them. Using a mass number of frost spiders. It's also why I have this character in white now. And with uh, two characters available to vet, it's uh, pretty easy to tank anything he has to throw at me. This particular fluffy doesn't have the Easter Bunny out though. It looks like someone just killed the Easter Bunny and left him out here. Which is weird. Oh, I'll show you some more damage numbers. Um, so the frost spiders have crazy decks. Um, almost 140. So they hit very quickly. Not that hard though. But they've, they've hit this thing for up to 20. some eggs from that. Now I'm going to have to park all of these tames. And then this guy needs to go find the two Easter bunnies I ran into earlier. And I think the closest location to where I was is the U graveyard. When I saw those. Let me check my UO auto map. Unless someone else has gotten them. No, it looks like they're still here. There's 
Fluffy. I need to aggro the Easter Bunny to get Fluffy to come at me. These fights do require a certain degree of good placement to work. I actually usually have this second character come over here and uh, just heal whatever little damage the Easter Bunny is doing to the second Drake. But yeah, this Frost Spiders are not bad. I just saw one hit for 25. I only wish they required lower taming. I think you need like uh, 75 taming or something to completely control them. And they do not have poisoning, which is too bad. They'd be just that much better if they had poisoning. actually found a uh, one of the rabbit skins or the rabbit furs from the killing these things now it's a very nice color kind of a deep teal and no fur from this rabbit that second pair of Fluffy and the Easter Bunny should be right over here. Should be. Mm, they do wander a little. Maybe it's down more. If worse comes to worse, I can just use my tracker. Easter Bunny. That can't be right. Come on, there were two of them right here. Oh, there he is. see if I can't get them into this clearing for a more visible fight. Well, that'll do it. Alright, call your friend. There he is. I do not pull out the health bars of the spiders, it's just not needed. It's too many bars to have out all at once.
still so far 20 oh no there's a 26 I was gonna say 25 is the highest hit 28 hmm. right when you think you've seen it all I have been noticing some more lag spikes lately locations on any more bunnies right now. I think that's just gonna have to be the whole video. I did two of the caves with that archer and that's a good build. Um, the thing is we'll get very costly to continue using that build because repairing bows is kind of expensive um, and it's not nearly as maneuverable or easy to use as running around with um, three drakes. And since this event is only going to last uh, less less than a week now, I'll try to use my time as best I can. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, video with uh, crazy tames and uh, fun slayers and all that. So until next time, I'll see you guys all around in-game.